boy been out of pocket for a while. All these kids' birthday, you know, all my kids' birthday in May. So that's crazy. Got one the third, one the fourth, then the twenty third. So everybody' birthday in May, and I've been running around crazy, man. They've been taking me down through them. But yeah, man. I've been having to run around with these seat belts too, bro. Been calling so many interior places. Man, I finally found the company that can re-weld my seat belts to a different color or whatever. I was thinking about dyeing them, but I talked to a few people. Man, if you dye them seat belts, they said sometime after a while that shit gonna get on your seat. So I was just like, I ain't trying to go that color. I mean, that way. Because my seats and everything are already going to be a bright color. So if that stuff start getting on the seat, you already going to know what's going on. Seat belts fade. I ain't got time for that. So uh, I found the company. I just paid for it today or whatever. It went up at like 360 So I'm pretty much right now going to get my seat belts from over there at the interior shop. And, uh, what I gotta do is I gotta ship them my original seat belts and they gonna uh, take that maroon color off and they gonna re really some new uh, seat belts for me. I think they gonna get the tan color. And I think those gonna go pretty good with it. And oh yeah, man, them boys, whew, I don't think they done started on my car either. But man, they just finished up a Chevelle over there. Oh my God. I know they were good, but I ain't know they can do work like that for real, for real. Man, they buddy showed up with a Chevelle. I don't know what year it is. Yeah, the LSA motor in it. Well, yeah, the LSA motor crate engine. He got that in there. Got bare brakes all the way around. And the inside, when he showed up, it wasn't nothing in the car. Only thing he had was a dashboard. It was some kind of Cadillac dashboard. So he pretty much did a dash swap. And he had no seats, no door panel, no headliner, no back deck, no nothing. They pretty much built out the whole inside of the car, bro. I ain't know they could do that. I knew they can do seats, but door panels and all that, bro. When you see it, I'm like, oh my god, I ain't no Terry done with that fire. I knew they were fire, but I ain't know they can do all that, bro. They made custom door panels. They pretty much did the seats the way he wanted them. And uh, the back deck, they made the back deck. They made a headliner and they put everything together, bro. They even hooked up, they even cut and made that dashboard fit in that Chevelle. It was some kind of Cadillac dashboard. That's what they said. I don't know what kind it is. And they got the Dakota Digital in that dash. I'm like, how y'all even do that? They got everything wired up and everything, bro. It's cold. I got a clip of it too, so the car already gone, so I can't get no more good, good detail footage of it. So I'm gonna let y'all check out this clip until I pull up over there and uh, find the rest of these seat belts. I got the two back seat belts in the back of the car, so I gotta go get the two front and the uh, what else? The little two front seat belts and the little buckle piece. So uh. Y'all check out this clip, man, and I'm gonna get back with you in a minute. How you doing? Man, these boys do some good work. You gotta push on real hard right now. Oh, I ain't wanna mess up, man. Nah, just put the trick thing in. Oh, you gotta push it in, huh? Mud turned out nice. And y'all made these door panels, right? Yeah. Man, this mud looks good. Yeah, she turned out real nice. Everything fitted up good. What you think, Hag? 
Hey, that interior almost matched the same color of the car. Yeah, they did good colors, man. Yeah, it almost matched the interior color of the car. That's cool. I ain't know that until just then. Dashboard looks good. First got that material in, we didn't think it was gonna go together too well. But when you started putting it together, it yeah, looks, damn, that looks good. Yeah, that flows real good. It actually flows good. That two tone. All right, guys, we done made it over here to the shop. By the check out some stuff and see what they got going man buddy got Lincoln Continental over here I guess they've been putting a new top on it I ain't never been up close to one of these things look like this thing might have oh he got ride tech suspension on it inside of this thing is nice Man, what you tearing up, man? Your car? <laughs> <laughs> Don't do it to it. Don't do it to it. You pull those seat belt, uh? Yeah, that's what it is. I have. Things out for me? Yeah. Y'all ain't seen this thing in a while. I gotta go get the silver and stuff for this dash too. They're gonna paint the bottom the part of the dash and the steering column. We're gonna get that together. Uh, keys, keys. I think my other seat belts in the trunk. I think those bathrooms in the trunk. No, they ain't. There they go. There they go. There they go. Yes, sir. Gotta get these out of here. Gotta get these sent on to the folks. Man with the plan. That's one. Just so you need one? No, I need all of them. Oh, uh, yeah, uh, I gotta send them off so they're gonna re weld them. And um, get the color changed on them. Yep. I don't know what this is. I think this uh Delta 88. Delta. Got the Oldsmobile. Uh, I don't know what this thing is. Got a nice Chevrolet small block in there, though. Get this old ocean view. First pieces. Yes, sir. Let me get these seat belts out, guys. We'll get back with y'all in a minute. See what's going on up in here. they thinking yeah they tripping tripping that was the wrong turn shawty you turned a little too early well no nah, you actually passed the turn that wasn't a little too early but anyway man we head into ups we got the seat belts got danny to print the paper off of me while she was at work so now we're about to go send these seat belts off to uh let's see the name of the place guys is safety restore if you got your seat belts you send your original seat belts to them they re-weld them to whatever color that you want and for mine 85 caprice it was 374 that's how much mine was my seat belts to get changed to the uh, tan color that I wanted. That was the only color that they had closest to my uh, my carpet or whatever. So, I'm in traffic. I'm about to 
I'm gonna send this stuff out, man, so I can go and get it back in the next week and a half and stuff. Cause they say once they get it, it only take them 24 hours to uh, do them and send them back out. Man, I need to go over there and check out me a CD player. Cause I need to get a CD player for the Chevy too. We ain't got no CD player, no speakers, no sound, no nothing. That's gonna be the next move after we get it out the interior shop. You know, we're gonna get it back. We're gonna build some corners. We're gonna ride around. Let some people see it. Then we're going to the next shop, try to finish it on up. But, uh, man, I'm about to go in here and get this stuff sent out. And I'm gonna holler back at y'all on the next video. Hopefully, the next video is gonna be an update video on the interior because I'm gonna pull up on Terry next week. And, uh, he's supposed to start on it Monday, he said. So. We're gonna see what the seats and everything gonna be looking like. I'm gonna show you all the pattern I went with. He got all the material and everything. He just finishing up on his last. I don't know what kind of car that is. Some fat air car. <laughs> but, man, I'm gonna get back with y'all on the next video, man. Y'all like, comment, subscribe. Turn on your post notification. Hit all. You know what I'm saying? And I'm gonna get back with y'all on the next one. Peace. That was stupid.